Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to show you a good little warm-up passing drill that you can do at the beginning of a workout or a practice that really focuses on small details. We call this bullseye passing. So each pass we want it to be, uh, we talk about the bullseye, which is the center of the chest. You know, most practice jerseys you're going to have a number or a logo in the front. And we really focus on the small detail of on all these passes. The pass has to hit the guy right in the chest or right in the hands, in the bullseye. And if they don't, there's some types of you know type of consequence. They could you know push ups or sprints or uh, you could even set a timer on this drill. We usually go again. It's a short drill, uh, just more to get them warmed up, uh, to get them moving, to get them to focus on on small details like passing and hitting a guy that's moving in a good spot where he could shoot or drive. Now we would normally split this up into two groups, three groups uh, to work on this, but for the sake of this warm up drill, we're just, we're going all together at the beginning of practice. Um, and again, as, as you do this drill, it's something that you can change and implement. Um, you could add, you know, certain types of drives that fit your offense. So if you are, you know, a team that likes to rip baseline, you could add that into your into your bullseye passing drill. Or if you're a team that, you know, maybe comes off a lot of ball screens and has to work on hitting the roller, you could you could add different layers to this drill. Um, but again, as you see, we're really just focusing on a, a dribble drive to the basket, attacking. Uh, we want the guy that's receiving the pass. A lot of the times we want them to be on the move because that's more game-like in a game. You know, you're, you're constantly on the move and you got to be able to, to deliver a good pass to a guy that's moving, whether that's for a shot or to continue the drive to put pressure on the defense. So again, really focus on the, the small details in this drill, really focus on bullseye passes and, and catches too, like as you see, um, you know, each one you're really focused on the kid's footwork, his hands, making sure he catches the ball um, and is ready to attack off the bounce or off the dribble. Um, and again, like I said, adapt the drill to fit your team. You could you could set a certain amount of passes that you got to make in, in a short amount of time. You could, um, you know, make sure you're counting each drop pass or or each pass that's not a bullseye pass right to the chest and have sprints for it. But again, it's just a good warm-up drill to get everybody moving and to really focus on the small details of passing. Now, right after bullseye passing, we will uh, many times go right into a pressure type of passing drill. Uh, you know, this is just going to be a short clip to show you. We'll add two defenders out there. Uh, you can make this drill competitive. You can go, you know, a blue team versus a white team or split them up or however you want to do it. But we want to put pressure on the passes now to where there's defense involved. So we will put the offense at a slight advantage, three on two, where they're rotating guys in and you have to make a pass without it getting deflected. Now we might do this for a couple minutes for each side uh, to see how many passes they can get. But again, it's just a good drill to add some pressure to their passes now. Um, and again, I hope these are things you can adjust and implement into your workouts and practices. And um, again, I hope these drills are something that you can do to help your team be better passers. Thanks.